mindful tonight. So we want to get this thing going, get it going the right way. So I appreciate all of your attention. A little bit of business up front. If we didn't make this a business meeting officially so we could write the whole thing off, then we can actually get down to having a little bit of fun with our speaker. Good. Like you're all, all on my same page. Uh, if you don't mind, if I have one, just rise for a moment with your with pledge. If I can invite my friend Steve Fallen on up, let's do the invocation. Lord, we thank you for getting us to this dinner safely. Thank you for the food we share, and we ask you to bless those who will go hungry tonight. We come together this evening to make our industry better, our agency stronger, and ourselves more prepared for the challenges we face each working day. Please guide and bless our efforts. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Steve. I'd just like to thank the uh, members of the Suffolk County Independent Agents Association, early and included, the whole gang. Thanks for making and coming out and joining Tri-County for this event. Together we are stronger, so I'm so glad everyone can get together this evening. It's really nice to see new faces and, uh, and old friends as well. So I appreciate everyone coming out for this really amazing motivational speaker. Uh, just a couple of uh, business announcements from Tri-County, and then I'll invite my friend uh, Earl up here, and you can do the same. A uh, Tri County's election meeting is coming up on April 18th at Davenport Press in Mineola. And we're fortunate to have Dick Poppy from Miami coming down to speak with us about the amazing Project CAT. Um, this meeting will conclude with a great program put on by our very own Judy Abitelli. Uh, she's going to be giving us a step by step program how to build a Facebook business page. So when you leave our presentation, you'll be able to learn how to build a Facebook business owner's page. Uh, with step-by-step -step directions. Uh, flyers are actually on the table, so please uh, pick them up at your leisure and save a date for this really informative lunch meeting, April 18th. Uh, going a little further down the road, uh, when Tri-County is wrapping up its uh, meeting schedule this year with our installation soiree, and yes, I called it a soiree. The installation soiree will be held um, on Thursday, June 21st at the Fox Hollow in Woodbury. Uh, if you don't mind, join us. I'd love everyone to join us for an incredible evening. There'll be a journey back in time. Think about this, a journey back in time to the 50s and 60s when things were a little bit simpler. Uh, we're gonna bring everyone back uh, with uh, food from the period, music from the period. Actually, I've got cars from the period coming out to be there at our event. Um, think of it like this. I, I like to think of it like this. When I was planning this event, it was, it was, the impetus was like going to the Copacabana without ever actually leaving Loma. <laughs> it's going to be an unforgettable evening. If you've been to any of our affairs, uh, you know that we try to do it the best we can and let we'll everyone leave with a smile on the face. So uh, I appreciate everyone coming out if it's entirely possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to introduce my counterpart from the Suffolk County, my good friend Earl Eden. I'd like to come up and say a few words. Here you go. We kind of had to beat by a day with Dick Poppy. He'll I know. Be, he'll I know. Be down on the evening of uh, April 17th and roll out Project Cap, so we hope you can all attend. Also, on May 10th, we're proud to have uh, our own Tom Crowley, guest president, who will be uh, installed as president of IAPNI, which is a tremendous accomplishment. So on May 10th, at the Smithtown Sheridan, I hope you can all come out and attend and welcome Tom as president. Uh, without our sponsors, we really would have a difficult effort this evening and with many of our meetings. So with that, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the Kingstone Insurance Company as the speaker sponsor, uh, Harleysville Group, sensational sponsor, NIF for the lottery tickets, and I think we have a couple of winners here. It look like they might have a problem with their tax advisor. And our dinner sponsors are Complex Coverage Management, Great American Restoration, M New Empire Group, PMC Insurance, Higher Personal Agency, uh, Quaker Special Risk, and Total Restoration Aid. So thank you again for all of us. And with that, I'd like to invite Mary Ronda to the podium. both Tri-County and Suffolk uh, associations for letting me come up and speak to you for a few moments. Uh, most of the people in the room know who I am. 
I'm Mary Modrick from MetLife Auto at Home, and I'm one of the co-chairs of an organization on Long Island of insurance professionals called the Long Island Insurance Community. Every year we have a gala that runs, raises funds for local Long Island charities. This will be our 18th area? 17th, 18th, says it on the phone. Thing. I don't remember. I'm too young. I can't remember that far, that far back. Uh, 18th, and uh, we've raised over $3 million. I have the unique pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker for the evening. Uh, I've seen her speak before, and I, I was very pleased when I saw her last. Many other agents in the room uh, saw her with me at a uh, New York Central presentation. Uh, her name is Yvonne Conti. Uh, now, I want you everyone to just relax a little bit. This is a, a relaxing meeting. Sit back, relax, allow me to introduce the speaker and, and give you the full presentation of the show here. Our speaker is a corporate culture expert at Humor Advantage Incorporated and the author of six books on the subject of humor, laughter, and joy, which, by the way, we are giving her books away at the end of the evening through uh, a participation sponsored by one of our vendors, Restoration Specialists. She's a recipient of the 2011 Soho Business Award and the Women in Leadership Award from CBS TV. She's appeared nationally on ABC TV and has taken her humor seminars to over 5,000 corporations and groups nationally. She's very busy. We were lucky to get her this evening. She's a proud mother of two grown children who have never been arrested, never been on Jerry Springer, and have finally moved out of her basement. Please help me welcome Yvonne Kant. Denise for inviting me here to talk with you about the positive power of humor, laughter, and joy. And I start with a statement that says, pain is inevitable. It's the suffering part that's optional. And a lot of people look at that and they say, what are you talking about? If you're in pain, you're pretty much suffering. Where does the option come in? Well, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. I'm sure that you're going to be serve. I look forward to seeing you all at our next meeting. And uh, God bless and thanks for coming. <laughs> 